Yo, real quick, man, I just want to thank everybody for copping the He Shot That merch. If you haven't got your merch yet, make sure you guys check the link inside the description to my spread shirt. And I will also leave the pinned comment with the link to the shirts. Let's get into this 2K20 news, man. All right, people, it's time to talk about NBA 2K20. Yes, this video that you are watching is about all confirmed news. This will not be any speculations, none of that nonsense that you guys have been watching so far. I only drop news and reaction videos. I don't really like to get speculative. I only like to do that when I'm doing my wish list. I love to speculate during wish list, but it's time to drop a banger on y'all head, man. NBA 2K20 news coming soon. Watch this clip. Thanks for checking out our coverage of the ticket. And remember, you can watch every episode of NBA 2K TV through the episode guide. And stay tuned for details on NBA 2K20. NBA, wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure you said this right. Details on NBA 2K20? Yeah, but we can't say anything right now. Got it. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, so now that you guys have seen the clip, you already know that it is about that time. It is almost that season for a rush, a, a frenzy, a fiend. A, man, listen, I'm telling you right now. You hear what I'm slapping right now, man? I'm slapping my veins because I'm telling y'all. When the news start dropping, I'm going to go crazy. Y'all know how I do with these videos. Y'all know how I do with the reactions. But let's talk about a couple things that LD2K has been dipping his hands and dipping his toes and putting his feet all up in it. So check it out. Via Twitter, if you're not following LD2K, I need to let you understand why you need to be following him. He recently re-signed on contract with NBA 2K. So he does work for the company again, which means you need to be following him. He is a voice for the community. He has his ear to the streets. And that's the type of person that we need at 2K because he was that guy before. And when he got fired, I know a lot of people were scared. They didn't know what 2K was going to be doing. Everybody was writing 2K off as a company. But now LD 2K is back. So, on Twitter, LD2K was responding to so many different tweets, man. Just letting people know that they have his ear. He's lending his ear out to a lot of different accounts via Twitter. So, if you are a YouTuber and you feel like you have a wish list or you have a concern, I want you guys to go hit up LD2K so we can get a little bit of shit storms rolling. You know what I mean? So, check it. So LD responded to this guy who asked about the arc system, right? And the way that I feel about the arc system, it's not that it's broken. It's just that certain things like jump shots, like my base 24, I ain't going to lie about base 24. It's lit. It makes my pure lockdown a god. I can't lie about that. But certain archetypes just do a little bit too much. They do like take a shot creating post score, for instance, a shot creating post score isn't supposed to necessarily hit limitless threes. OK, I'm going to keep it honest. He's not supposed to hit those at all. Now, I know a lot of people might think like, OK, what about a Mark Gasol? He hits threes from time to time. OK, that's cool. But Mark Gasol ain't going six for six from three, especially shooting two contested shoot over. That was like, come on, that don't make no sense. So the dude asked about the arcs and all that, and LD2K basically said, we hear you. Now, of course, LD2K cannot deep dive into everything about what's coming, arc system, rep rewards, all that nonsense. So he kept it pretty vague with that guy on Twitter. But basically all that saying is, with all the problems that we have, whether it's overpowered builds whether it's builds not being able to do enough not being able to do what those specific builds are supposed to do then he hears our problems he hears our issues now there have been a lot of speculative videos man of people talking about how we going back to 2k16 arc systems and all that with building with like an all-around player inside player outside player you know being able to stack up our uh reps with just you know buying all the vc stacking as, as much as we want to listen let me let y'all understand something i'm gonna keep it a hundred percent with y'all 2k has made so much money off of the archetype system they will not and i repeat will not go backwards to a system that essentially was a little broken in its own right because like a lot of people say if you have 
both the same archetype like say for instance you have two outside pgs right and both of these dudes are doing a couple dribble moves and they're getting shots off and they say oh whoever is the better pg in that scenario will win the game hell no even back in 2K16, even 2K17, we were still cheesing dribble moves. We were still getting people in certain canned animations that they couldn't get out of just to get shots out. I remember when there was a, a, a playmaking shot creator type of player where it was like a 6-6 six, six or 6-7 six, shot creator where he could not miss moving shots and he would spin shot you to death. He would uh, literally moving shot you to death, step back, jump shot you to death, and you couldn't stop that build. Whether you had a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, you could not stop that build on a moving shot. But back in 2K16, the game wasn't really ran on, oh, everybody shoots threes. Now it's like that. That's why you see the playmaking sharp. That's why you see the sharp shooting play. That's why you see the shot creating stretch. That's why you see the shot creating sharp. Those type of builds is because 2K is now ran by Steph Curry. And that's Illuminati stuff. You know what I'm saying? There ain't even nothing to it. But check it out. So the way I see it, I, I said in my wish list that I believe that they will add something in there with like a third archetype or something just to dumb the build down. But to be honest, I don't think that they'll even go up to three arcs, even though that would be an option to mess a couple people up. I feel like they just need to tweak a couple things, such as takeovers. Takeovers really, really need to be tweaked. And the reason why I say that they need to be tweaked is because if I go up against a maybe a pure sharp, I can guard a pure sharp. If I'm going up against a pure stretch, I can guard a pure stretch. And that's because they buffed the shot contest. You know, as long as you're there in the vicinity, as long as you jump at them coming forward, you can kind of contest those things. But man, let's talk about the glass cleaners for a minute. They're not even post scorers, yet they can grab the rebound, push people out the way, and dunk on folks. Let's talk about the pure lock. If I'm a pure lock small forward 6'10", and I'm going up against this point guard, a shooting guard, and even some small forwards like 6'7 and below, I can body them in the paint like I'm a post scorer. And let's not talk about post scorers. Post scorers? Oh my goodness. You can do so much. It's so many animations that you can do to players to get them out of the way defensively. As a post scorer, that's insane. So I feel like in order to tweak that, they just need to tweak the takeover system. I feel like the arc system isn't really that broken because what tends to happen is 2K is always going to nerf certain things. And I feel like when they nerf shot creators, they never brought them back to life. When they nerf slashers in their uh, alley-oop tendencies and stuff like that with quick one elevator rip, I felt like slashers died at that moment. And I felt like the game just kept getting more geared towards three-point shooters so now all we see is three-point shooting and you only see post scores on like the 1v1 court post scores really don't come out too much unless maybe a couple games on twos but check it out man let's talk about the rep reward system now me personally i'm fine with whatever just because simple fact that i do not grind to 99 all the time but what i can tell you guys is as a person that has a rebirth and that rebirth getting into the high 90 overalls like 93 94 i can say that rep rewards do matter when people use their overall for 2k18 and 2k19 but i think the only thing they should bring back from 2k16 2k17 days is the rep reward system when playing online i believe when 2k decided to mesh everything together my career pro-am rec uh my park and add it all into that grind to 99 it pissed a lot of people off i remember watching poor boy sin get to 96 overall only online games not really any my career then i seen other people hit 99 with only my career come to the park and get trashed with a 98 99 mascot all that so i believe that players that grind online should get certain perks as well like take this for instance right when i became an elite three at the park i received nothing I received not a god darn thing. I didn't get the goggles that they dropped only one or two times in this entire lifespan of this game. I didn't receive a mascot. Of course, we know why, because that's tied to overall to the chase to 99. I feel like I should have got something, right? I feel like, why not, okay, you give a skateboard to certain people that get stuff, and then maybe you give them the hoverboard if they reach that overall. Why not give them the bicycle online, and then when they might reach that same overall, then you get like a hover bike or something like that. Give us something where it can tie in the online to the offline. I believe if you guys say, okay, 
maybe they can dribble a basketball. Well, why not be able to have that player move through the, the whole crowd with his crew and they all elite threes, they all dribbling basketballs, doing the same animations and stuff like that? That would be so dope as Red Rewards. Bring the Tigers back. Bring the Jetpacks. Do something because I'm telling you, man, the grind to elite three for Rec, Pro-Am, my part, it seems like it really doesn't matter anymore. But that's just me, man. Hey, if you guys want to hear about more NBA 2K20 news, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is your boy IKC signing out, and I will hit you guys up with some news when I see it. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.